Well, deciding where to eat can be a challenge with countless restaurants here in the Low Country. So, Low Country's morning meteorologist, our expert on this stuff, Josh Marthers, is checking out locally owned and operated restaurants in a new segment we call Low Country Eats. He's a foodologist. Mm -hmm. When we decided we were going to start Low Country Eats, the first place on my list was Buckshots. Is this was the first local restaurant I walked into when I moved here almost 10 years ago. So Miriam, a lot of folks pass you by and they don't know what you are. They walk in though and they're in for a treat. Tell us a little bit about what your what your regulars come in for on a daily basis. They come in for this fried chicken. All right, that's your number one deal right there. That's the number one. All this other stuff goes along great with it, but and the chicken's the, the big the story, The chicken right? is the biggest seller and the mac and cheese. If we don't have mac and cheese on that bar, they ask for it. This is a daily item as well with cabbage. And um, we don't have shrimp on the bar, but uh, you could order it off the menu. Okay. Yeah. Now, the fried chicken is your is your local's favorite, but it's your favorite too, and it's because you kind of got an attachment to this chicken, right? Yes, I did. All right, what is that? My grandmother's recipe. Well, family right there makes yes. it all. Now, I know you're not going to share it with us, but you no. have shared this with somebody, right? Somebody's got this. Somebody has. Okay. But it's in uh, the family. It's in the family. Yes. So I can't have it. No, you can't. So I got to get in the family somehow, right? Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about, about your story. How did this place get started? You know, what, what, what's, what's the Buckshot story? My brother um, had a, a passion for cooking, and he started cooking out in McClellanville in a little, little shack. And he came and said that he wanted us to kind of help him spread the word about his cooking. Okay. So we all kind of joined in and we created Buckshots. Uh, he had a passion for the chicken and we used to do like the fried crabs and stuff like that. But that's how it got started. Okay, and you guys are open. Are you open every day of the week? Do you take a day off? Do you ever take a break? We take off Monday. Tuesday so through Sunday, the buffet's open? Yes. It's a little something different every, every day. Every day. Right? Every day is something different. Right here in McClellanville on Highway 17. You can't miss it. Little blue house. It feels like home when you walk in. It is And home. I cannot wait to dig into it. It is that. home. That's why we have the homey atmosphere. That's it right. is home. All right. Yeah, that was... Uh, Ooh, I can hear the crunch of that right. chicken. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. And 